Would you believe it? There are 34 days until voters head to the polls and as campaigns ramp up efforts, you're not alone if you're feeling anxious. Liza Lucas reports on the stress behind election season and ways to cope. From the TV to your cell phone, inboxes and mailboxes, the reminders of the 2020 race are all around us. And just thinking about the outcome can bring on extra stress. Regardless of your political party affiliation, people are feeling distressed. Most people don't want this level of dissension. Dr. Valdesha Dijon has seen a surge of patients feeling anxious. The American Psychological Association documenting similar stress in a July survey, with more than 60% of Republicans and more than 70% of Democrats reporting the current political climate as a significant source of stress. Factor in a pandemic and financial concerns, and Dr. Dijon says the 2020 race can take on an even greater meaning. And because the states feel so high, people are more passionate and more vocal than I've ever seen. And yet she sees a common thread. Those who are most distressed and anxious have been overly inundating themselves with social media. Limit your exposure to political news through television or social media. That is key to feeling better for many people. Other ways to cope? She says avoid debating and arguing with others, while tapping into mindfulness and breathing exercises can also help. Another thing that you can do is to channel that anxious energy into volunteering and getting more politically involved. It is likely to make you feel or more uplifted to know that you've done your part in making a difference. And Liza joins us now from the 11 Alive Bridge. Liza, our Morning Rush insiders, they have some suggestions on how to manage stress from politics as well. They're, they're a helpful group, our Morning Rush insiders. They are always chiming in about great topics. And at the end of the day, Dr. Dijon says it's important to protect your peace. And that is what we're hearing from many of you that are already employing some of these tips. Sandra saying she uses the DVR, she records programs she wants to watch us and then fast forwards through those political ads. She also limits her news intake, as does Carol right here. She actually mutes the commercial. She doesn't fast forward right there. But she says she doesn't watch if she's already having a stressful day. And then she does her own research search when it comes to the issues. Lyrical Flow, though, she says that she doesn't watch network television unless the news is on, but what really gets her is the phone calls and the texting and the mailbox, just that influx of political updates coming to us constantly. So again, we're having this conversation from behind the scenes, but Dr. Dijon also wants to reiterate that if you are struggling, it is always important to seek professional help.